Praise the Lord. It's always been you. Amen. We're going to get Brother Matthew to come and um, take an offering tonight. And <clears throat> I asked Steve to play that song during prayer time because I was listening to that today and was bawling like a baby. <laughs> and so that's going to be the message. It's all about you. It's all about you. And it's all about him. Amen. And it's always been about him. And, you know, I thank God for how he does things. He brings us comfort. You know, in that line of the, the chorus, it says, you are the voice that calms the storm inside me. You're the voice that calms the storm inside me. When I, when I feel like I want to run and I want to run or just panic, he's that voice. Hey, it's okay. Stop. <laughs> he calms that, he's that voice inside, you know, that calms the storm inside me. It says, you saw me first. You let me in when I was at my worst. You know, he didn't call me when I was at my best. He didn't save me when I was at my best. What use was it of to save me? There was nothing to save me from. But he called me at my worst <laughs> and saved me. Amen. Thank God that he did. That he sent Jesus. That God loved me enough, Nikki. It was always him. It's always been that he's always loved us no matter where we are. Even at our worst because that's when he called us. Three. It says the moment when I heard you say my name. Like he says in Isaiah 43. Thou art mine. <laughs> I have called thee by name. Amen. It's the first time in a long time I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. And he says, perfect love does what? Cast out all fear. Because when I know that he loves me, even at my worst, I'm not afraid, tree. I'm not afraid. Go with me to Psalms 19. But this song just floored me this morning, well, this afternoon, because I, I got up late. But it was probably around noon when I was listening to it. But I thank God, because I was weepy. I've been weepy a couple of days, Miss and D. And, um, but I just heard it, and that voice calms the storm in my mind. Amen? Go with me to Psalms 19, chapter 19. He's so good. Because it's always been you. It's always been him that has been pulling and tugging and trying to reach you. His love has tried to break through. It says that it's um, all my life your love was breaking through. All my life his love has been trying to break through to my heart. To show me how much I'm loved by him. <laughs> Psalms 19. It says the heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. The line, their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber. And rejoices as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. He set a place for the sun. And there's nothing hid from the heat that of it. it. It runs, it circuit, it goes across the earth. He is, declares the heavens, declare his glory. The heavens declare his glory. The stars, the sun, the moon, the planets declare his glory. You know, if the earth was so many degrees off its axis, we would burn up. Just a few degrees. But we're just right, just far enough not to freeze like Mars and not to be hot like Venus. 
just right. Like baby bear soup, like Dr. Hudson used to have said, them confounded variables. <laughs> it had to be just right, just right. Like baby bear soup was just right. Not too hot, not too cold. But God made it, hung it right in the right degree, the right tilt, the right way that it needed that we could live. He spoke it into existence and flung it into, into place. Because of he, who he is. It's always been you. <laughs> That's who he is. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Converting the soul. He converts you, changes you. Making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right. Rejoicing. The heart, the commandment of the Lord is pure. Enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean. Enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold. Yea, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than the honey. And the honeycomb, his words are so much more precious than what? Gold, gold, and sweeter than what? Honey, his word, who he is, how faithful he is to know him. It's more precious than gold to know of who God is and what he does and his faithfulness. It's always been you. <laughs> Moreover, by them is thy servant wanted, and in keeping of them is great reward. Moreover, by them is thy servant wanted. <laughs> We're wanted. We're loved. He desires to have us, to be in his presence. He, we are wanted by God Almighty. Wanted by God Almighty. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and my meditation of my heart be acceptable in the sight of the Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let my words of my mouth and my meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Like he says in the verse of that song, you are the voice that calms the storm inside. Calms the storm inside. When the fear be, tries to rage and the wind and the storm begins to roll, he's the calm that calms inside because it's his words. His words are to be desired more than gold, sweeter than what? The honeycomb. His word. Go with me to Psalms 18.2. Um, Back up to 18.2. I'll try to be slow and get, let you get there. And he says, I get a little fast. <laughs> Psalms 18, 2. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and my horn, and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. He's all those things. And see the next line in that verse, or in that chorus, says, castle walls that stand around me. All this time, my guardian, you are. Castle walls, fortress. Why did I say almighty fortress? And in this one, it says, castle walls stand around me. <laughs> he's my fortress. Scripture says he's my fortress. He is my castle. He is my defense. That I can run into and hide in to. Because he is my shield. 
my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my buckler and the, and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. A high tower, a refuge, a place of refuge, tree. Go with me to Psalms 31. He's always been. It's always been you. Amen? It's always been you. Psalms 31. Verse 3. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy namesake, lead me and guide me. Lead me and guide me. You are my fortress. Once again, he's my castle. What does a fortress mean? A castle or a fortified wall, right? Around me. And he says in there, he says, in three, he says, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Remember that in a minute. Lead me and guide me. Go with me to Psalm 71, verse 3. I know I'll have you jump in a minute. That's all right. I want to show you that he is, he says, he is to desire his word as gold, and it's more sweeter than honey. So we're going to read his word and show you that he is your fortress. Psalm 71, verse 3. And that you don't have to just take my word for it, but you can take his, because his will stand the test of time. 71, or take Phil Wickham's song for it, but you can take God Almighty's word for it. Amen? 71, verse 3. Be thou my strong habitation, whereunto I may continually resort. Thou hast given com commandment to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. <laughs> thou art my rock and my fortress that I can resort to, run into, hide in. Amen? Go with me to Psalm 91. He, it's always been you. It's always been him. He is always trying to show us how much he loves us. That I don't have to be afraid. That I don't have to be afraid anymore. Amen? 91-2. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. In him will I trust. I'll put all my trust in him because his word says it's true. It's more desired. He says to desire it more than gold. It's sweeter than the honeycomb. Honey's sweet. Can be. And so his word is sweet. It is to be desired like gold. Go with me to Psalms 144. Verse 2. My goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people under me. <laughs> He's my, my shield. He's my fortress. Over and over, David tells that how much that he is his fortress, that he is his defender, his protector, his defender. Remember in 31, I told you that he said he, he leads us. Amen? And guides us. The next verse of that song, he says, well, at this time, all this time, my guardian was you. You are the light that shines in every tunnel. There in the past, you'll be there tomorrow. All my life, your love was breaking through. 
my northern star. What did he say in 31? You lead me and guide me. What did they, who, how did they get from place to place in old time? By the northern star. How did ships get across the sea? They had to find the northern star to guide. They used their sex to, or, or whatever devices they had, and they used the northern star to guide the ship where it needed to go. When they were traveling, when the slave, even underground railroad, they used the northern star to make it to the north. He is our northern star. He says he would lead me and guide me in the direction that I should go. Go with me to Proverbs 16. Sixteen nine. A man's heart devises his way, but the Lord discerneth his steps. A man's heart will discern his way. Will say, I want to go this way, or I want to go that way, or I want to do this, or I want to do that. But the Lord directeth his steps. <laughs> if we allow the Lord, he will direct our steps he will lead us and guide us just like that northern star we can set our eyes on him and set our sails toward home because he will guide us home he's my northern star nikki says your love will be the compass of my heart see it'll always point me true north when i know how much what that he loves me. Because <laughs> when I I'll let it veer off, my compass will always pull me back to the fact that God loves me. Go with me to Proverbs chapter 4. We'll back up. 426. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Ponder the path of your feet. Let God direct your steps. Ponder your path. Because, see, a man's heart will devise his own ways if we're not careful. Because it will, oh, I want to do that, or I want to go there, or I want to do this, or I really like to do that. But if we ponder, ponder the path of thy feet. And let all thy ways be established under him, his ways. Amen. Proverbs 7, chapter 7. Verse 25. Let not thine heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths. Let not thine heart decline to her ways. Because see, her heart will take us sometimes out of the path into her ways, what, they, what we desire instead of God's ways. But our compass should always bring us back to true north <laughs> is God's love. The fact that God loves us, that northern star. Amen? Go with me to Matthew chapter 28. We'll have one more in the Old Testament in a minute, and, and I'll. Matthew 28. We'll start at verse 18. And Jesus came, un, came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I command you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. What does he says? 
I am with you even unto the end of the world. What, who's, what letters is that? What is it written in? Red. It's Jesus saying, I am with you. I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. <laughs> Whose words are those? Jesus. By what greater authority can you get that statement? Amen. I am with you till the end of the world. <laughs> I'm with you. You're not alone. <laughs> We're not alone. He's that voice that calms us. In the storm, when it's storm inside of me, he's my high tower. It's always been you trying to break through. It's always been him with his love trying to break through to show us that even until the end of the world, he would be with us, that he would never leave us nor forsake us, but that even until the end of the world, what does he say? I am with you. That's his words, not mine, his words. He says, I am with you. Amen? Go to John 14. So next time you hear this song, think of all those verses. Think of all those of the word that it's not just Phil Wickham singing, but it is written. It is scripture. And it is written that it can't be broken. That it will stand when the earth is on fire. It can't be shaken. It will not pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but his words will not fail. 14.6 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. <laughs> I am the way, the truth, and the life. And how we get to the Father is through him and by him. Amen. It's always been him trying to break through our lives. If you look back over your lives, it's always been him trying to break through his love to you. Always to show you how much you are loved. To bring you peace, to bring you comfort, to bring you into that castle, into that fortress, into those arms of safety. To calm that fear, to calm that terror. That's, it's always been him. Go with me to 1 John. We'll go there and then we'll go back to, to the Old Testament. 1 John. Chapter 5. By this we know that we love the ch children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world? but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. We overcome the world when we believe that Jesus is the Son of God. We're an overcomer by believing in Jesus Christ. It's simple. It's the word. That's why he said it's so simple. A child could understand. And that we, so that if we just take him at his word, that we become an overcomer because we believe in Jesus. Because we believe in Jesus. He, because he fights for us. He's our protector. He's our shield. He's our high tower. He's our defense. I don't have to battle for me. 
He battles for me. He fights for me. He says, if God be for me, who can be against me? No one. Nothing. Neither height, nor depth, nor principality, nor power. Nothing can separate me from the love of God. Nothing, John 10, 10, 25, nothing can separate me. Pull me out of his hand. Pluck me out of his hand. Nothing. Nothing. Amen. He's, he's with me to the end of the world. Nothing can take me out of his hand. I've overcome the world. There's nothing out there that, that I haven't overcome because of Jesus. Because I believe in Jesus. That's it. Go with me to Joshua chapter 1. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then shalt thou, or thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. To meditate in this book <laughs> to know his word Amen. and his word will what set you free to know the truth and the truth shall set you what free, free. Amen. to know the truth if i meditate upon the truth and know the truth right this is the truth this is jesus the word is jesus that it, it is truth he said i am the way the truth and the life it is the truth. If I meditate upon the truth, it shall set me free. Free from fear. I am not afraid. For the first time in so long, I'm not afraid. You are the voice that calms the storm inside me. Castle walls that stand around me. All, all this time, my guardian was you. There in the past, you will be there tomorrow. All my life, your love was breaking through. You were there in the past. You're there tomorrow. Because what he said, I'll be with you until the end of the world. Then we'll be with him forever. And in the last verse, it says, who stood with me in the fire. What did he do with the Hebrew children? He was in the fire. Who stood with you in the fire? <laughs> Some of you have been put through the fire. It was you. It was always you. Who pulled me out of the water? Amen. Pulled me out of the water. Amen? It was you. It was you. Who carried me on their shoulders? Who went and found the lamb and carried him back to the fold? Amen? Who went and found that lost lamb and carried it back on his shoulders, back to the lamb, back to the fold. Amen? It's always been you, your love breaking through. Amen? My castle walls around me, that to calm the storm inside me, that voice, his voice. If we study and meditate upon the law and his truth, we'll have good success. It says, make thy way prosperous and have good success. He'll make your way prosperous. Why? There's no way he can't. Because you are in him. You are following him. He's, his word says it will. And it will. And you'll have good success. All because it's him. It's, all, it's always been about you. About him. When I say you, it's always been about God. Because he's always loved us enough to do for us what he's done. Our fortress. And see, now you've got scripture to back that up. Because see, you know, my mind starts racing to all the scripture. 
when I hear that song, because he is, I know he is, because I know those scripture. But see, if you study and you know those scripture and you meditate upon them, you'll know him as I know him. You'll know him as, he, as Jesus knew him. See, that's the thing. We can know the Father as Jesus knew the Father. We can have the same relationship with the Father as Jesus had with the Father. Why? Because Jesus said I could. And I take him at his word. His word is true. His word is true. And I've done overcome the world. Why? Because he overcame it for me. And all I have to do is believe in him. Just believe in him. It's always been him. It's always been about him. And he loves you tonight. And he wants you to surrender everything. Everything, every fear, like that song, that other song that he sings, every fear, lay it at his feet. Surrender your fear. Surrender your pride that I can do it. I got it, God. I don't have to have help. I can fix this. Surrender it. Surrender and admit that, God, I need your help. I need you to be my fortress, to be my castle wall, to be my defense, to be the one to speak to calm my fears. I need you. There's nothing wrong or belittling in admitting you need God. That's what humbleness is, is to surrender unto the authority of God Almighty. That he is Lord and I'm not. That he is God and I'm not. So tonight, surrender everything Open your heart, rend your heart, and not your garment. Open your, what that means is to tear open your heart before God and say, God, search me. Know me, oh God. Take everything before you, God. I want to lay it all down before you. And I want to be what you've called me to be. I don't want to have to try to work this out anymore. I can't. Here it is, God. Take it. And make me what you want. And he will. Because see, he said already, all you got to do is believe in him. Believe his word. But see, as long as you tussle with it and you wrestle with it, it's not going to get any better. It's going to get worse because you're trying to fix it. And man just makes a mess of things. And women. I mean, When I say that, I mean the general term of, we just make a mess of things because we think we know just like somebody thought they know how to rewire that panel box got into that mess that Steve had on the floor and got tangled up and and got shocked and electrocuted because they don't know which one goes plugged into what place and there's probably Steve's probably worked with a bunch that probably no thought they knew what they how to do it and we can try to fake it with God but you see, it ain't going to work very long. Somewhere along the line, you're, it's going to show. It glares that you don't have a clue what you're doing. <laughs> it just glares, is glaring that you don't know what you're doing. Whether it's in electrical or whether it's in mechanic, whether it's in teaching, whether it's in whatever. Because when, when there are certain things that happen, that when the rubber meets the road, that is just glaring that you don't know what you're doing. And it's the same way with God. But you can know if we surrender to him and believe him and let him be in control. Because it's always been him. Not been about us. It's always been about him. That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. What? To have a relationship with me. To have a relationship with me. To have a personal relationship with me. And him trying to tell me how to fix something. Have you ever had your kids, you've been trying to tell them what to do, and they try to tell you they know already what to do? How's that go? Don't go real well, does it? Well, then stop telling God what to do. Stop trying to tell God you know what to do 
and listen to him. <laughs> listen to him. Because he's trying to tell you how to fix your life. And we're not listening. We're that teenager or that um, in-between preteen. And we think we know more than mom or dad. But God is saying all the time, here's how you fix your life. Here's what you need to do. Here's the recipe. Here's step one, step two, step three. Do A, B, and C first. Then do four. And it'll work. But when we try to do it our way, we mess it up. And he's telling us, he's our strong tower. Surrender to him. Let it go. Let your way go. Because your way can't fix anything. But Jesus is can. He can. And he proves his. He proved his through the word. His word says that he's with us. That he's for us. And not against us. We just got to what? Believe him. And submit and surrender to his will. To his ways. Because see, our heart will want us to go our way. It'll devise, ponder your steps. Ponder them with God. Take them to prayer. And let God direct your steps. Let God direct your steps. Because he will. He will. But I love that song today. I was listening to that. And I, I thought of all of the scripture. That he's for us. And not against us. That he loves us, that he'll speak and calm our storm inside of us. When things start to raise up and, and fear tries to grab a hold, he's all the time telling, hey, Teresa, I love you. Don't let go. Teresa, I love you. I love you. This is not for me. And he'll say, you know, he'll tell us whatever we need to hear. Because he is a faithful father, a faithful high priest that's been touched with our infirmities, that knows what we feel before we feel it. He's been tempted in all points, in all like manner, that to know how it feels. But tonight, we're going to have an altar call. But the next time you hear that song, think about all the scripture out of that one little song. There were so many scriptures started flowing. And there were more, and many more, I, honestly. I could have, but I thought, Eddie's like, well, that's a long one, look like. <laughs> and so that could have come. But I thank God because he's all, it's always been him. He's always there. He never leaves us. He never forsakes us. Amen. He will guide us and direct us if we let him. But tonight, I'm telling you, let go. Let go of your fear. Let go of your pride. Let go of all of you. Empty your heart and let go of everything to God. And let him have it all tonight. Amen? Amen.